Coronado. I am a joy. The Dallas. Hi guys, it's Lexi. Welcome to today's vlog. It's 9.57 on Sunday, November 24th. You're going the wrong way again. <laughs> wrong way, mama. Wrong way, all the time. We're gonna go to the breakfast buffet. Why am I blue? I don't know. Christmas decorations are still here. I love seeing them from our room. It's really nice. We're at the buffet, got some pancakes, waffle, some fruit, and a cinnamon roll, some orange juice, and water. Next we got some chila quiles, some sausage, and some potatoes. And this is red sauce. Came back to the room, changed. Now we're ready for a great beach day. Made it to the beach. The Dell is back there. And the waves are still loud. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them in the last clip from yesterday or if you can hear them today. They're loud. And it's breezy. Let me show you guys the little fort I made. With all my towels. Keeping the one towel flat on the sand. <laughs> well, oopsie! <laughs> well, this works. The three towels. We have finished with the pool and everything. Now we're gonna take a walk around Coronado, maybe get me something to eat. I'm hungry. Pasta home and cook it yourself. <laughs> We're sitting at Island Pizza or Island Pasta. Whoops. And we're gonna get pizza. One thing I'm sure of it cannot be worse than last night. That is true. If it is, they say, I'll eat my pasta. I have never heard that expression. <laughs> really? Alright, let's educate ourselves. It says it's used to say that something will not happen or cannot be true. 
Why does Google know about this and I don't? So let's look up the origin then. It says, I'll eat my hat is an utterance commonly used when a person is absolutely certain that something will not happen. According to the venerable Oxford English Dictionary, the earliest known example of the phrase comes from the 1762 book Homer Travest Travesti by Thomas Bridges. The book is a parody of the more famous Iliad and contains a line that reads, For though we tumble down the wall of empire their rotten boats and all, I'll eat my hat if Jove don't drop us, or play some queer rogue's trick to stop us. That I've never heard. It says it's also from Charles Dickens, the Pickwick Papers. I think I'm going to that one. There's also another version. Wait, where'd it go? I hate this new scrolling thing that they implemented in iOS 13. I keep doing it on accident. Apparently some guy on Reddit said he would eat his hat. He would eat an entire cotton beanie on a sandwich. <laughs> If the value of one Bitcoin never again fall below a thousand dollars. I have never heard of this. Alright, let's look that up. Right at the end, another example of following through on the promise of eating a clothing item, though this time was not a hat, is that time famed director Werner Herzog claimed that if Errol Morris ever finished the film Heaven's Gate, a now legendary box office bomb, he'd eat his shoes. <laughs> He ate his shoes after hiring a professional chef to prepare them with garlic and various herbs at the premiere of the film. Ew! We got some cheese pizza. I am a joy to the world. <laughs> yes, you are. Eight forty-four on Sunday, November 24th. Pizza was great. We're back in the room. I've changed and ready for bed. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell, leave a comment, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.